And finally, Ethiopian artist Fikru Gebre Mariam, whose work has been exhibited and sold internationally, paints his studio in Addis Ababa, shares his feelings on art as he looks at some of his paintings on display this month at an exhibition hosted by a cultural hub in the Ethiopian capital. Here is his story. With an exuberant flourish, Ethiopian artist Fikro Jebre Mariam slaps bold streaks of paint across the large canvas propped up against a wall in his Addis Ababa studio. The acclaimed 50-year-old painter, whose art hangs in galleries and collections across the world, explains how he honed in on his now vibrant, abstract style. My job is just to follow, you know, my job is to just take care of what my feeling is, what my subconscious drive is, just to let my emotions on the canvas. Around 30 of Fikru's pieces will be on public display throughout February at an exhibition hosted by the Alliance Ethio Francois, a cultural hub in Addis Ababa. Most of those on show are large canvases, some more than 2.5 meters wide and a riot of color and energy. In his studio, Fikru preciously guards a drawing that he produced as an 11-year-old boy when his parents enrolled him at the Addis Ababa School of Fine Arts. At the age of 13, he won an award at a prestigious international children's painting exhibition in Beijing. After studying in Addis Ababa, Fikru traveled to several countries, including the United States and the artist Magnet Paris before returning to his homeland in 2012. He's someone who has evolved. As I said earlier, he learned the techniques here, then he exported them, going to France and then the United States. And these comings and goings enabled him to draw inspiration from everything there was, from the movements in which he was able to participate in France and the United States. Now hundreds of artworks, some laid out on the floor, bear witness to the decades of Fikru's artistic evolution from figurative to abstract expressionist painter. In his studio, he paints bold ochre, beige and black strokes on the canvas, already an abstract concoction of colours. He then lays it on the floor, sprinkling on a mixture of turpentine and linseed oil, diluting the paint as it spreads. In a sign of how his style has evolved, old canvases in earth and hues feature women's faces resembling African masks. Over time, they have been slowly submerged in an abstract explosion of colour. For me, success is any professional person person who believe in what he do is just he focus and he do whatever he do and if he, as long as he is happy in what he do the artist if he's happy to me that's the end that's a success the artist says that when he starts a painting he has no idea what it will become it could take an hour or a year to finish or be abandoned and taken up again months later fikru says he does not want to be categorized bureau report we on world is one Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.